Hi, everyone. On this day that Hillary Clinton will make history by formally accepting her party's nomination to be president, I wanted to share what I think is some interesting personal family history. My family believes that my great-grandmother on my father's side was the first woman ever to cast a ballot for president of the United States. Now, here's some background. They were in Wyoming, which was a territory that gave women the right to vote. When Wyoming applied to be a state, some people in Congress didn't like the idea of women voting, but the people in Wyoming said, listen, we either become a state with women having the right to vote or we don't become a state. So Wyoming became the 44th state in the union, and it became the first and only state to give women the right to vote. Fast forward to 1892. My great-grandfather and great-grandmother had settled in Lander, Wyoming. My great-grandfather became a precinct captain and a polling place judge. He was in charge of a local polling place. Well, we have some uh, records that my cousin Janet and my brother Bob have dug up, even an old newspaper article that says that they opened their precinct early on Election Day in 1892 because they wanted to let a farmer vote. And so my great-grandfather and great-grandmother also cast their ballots at that time. That means that my great-grandmother cast her ballot for president, Benjamin Harrison, I believe it was, before any other woman in the state of Wyoming, and therefore she became the first woman ever to cast her ballot for president of the United States.